Yeah. Yeah. Sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, Amen. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with Firefighter Daigo. We got episode 21. And last episode, we got a lot of insight into what's really going on behind Fire Company M. And we also got to see an insane rescue with a hundred volts of electricity just randomly flying through the air. Hell yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lie, we say it all the time, what a time to be an anime fan, but what a time to also be a subscriber of this channel. I'm not gonna lie, Fighter Fighter Daigo has been really coming with it. Like, we got to see one of probably the deadliest rescues possible. And just when we got to see what it was for, it made it even better. But then you also talk about the second half of the episode. We got to really see what was really going on. And I will say, if I was Yuki, I'd be damned personally. But at the same time, I'd also know I'm on a dog squad. So, hey, I'm ready to see more of that squad as well as just what Fool Squad's heading to. Hell yes. Emphasis on what Fool Squad's heading to. Because if that last rescue was any indication, they only get the bullshit. So They only get the bullshit. But, hey, low-key, maybe they're getting groomed. Hell yeah, hell yeah, but hey man, let me jump into this episode. <laughs> like, Shun is not a weak nigga, but I doubt he's able to pull that off. I don't think anyone in their squad is, I'm gonna be honest. When you look at the steps he took, I don't think anyone is. Yeah. That explains why he was looking, why he was looking. Oh, where he was looking. Yeah. You got the cat in the forward full Nelson. はい。これさ、なんとかならなかったの。この前の
最初うちら報道係が出場しなくてもいいって言ってたの係長ですよねあの日それよかノコギリ山の山岳救助隊の話を記者たちに発表した方が5文字出るとか言ってあああああいつマジムカつく東京消防庁です火事ですか救急ですか13時ごろ指令室に行き当日の災害状況を確認する指令室に入るのは町内で報道係だけ救急搬送された武田ってアイドルですよね報道対応いりますね調査課にも行き得意な火災原因などについて情報収集この事故車両もリコール対象ではまあだって片番そうですよね調査課はどう動いていますか富に発表したいんですけど待ってくださいよ佐藤司令補製造物責任法に引っかかってくるから簡単じゃないですよ町内のコンセンサスが取れてないし今準備中だからあちょっと失礼はいもしもし佐藤ですお待ちしておりました仮住まいもようやく落ち着いてお家の方も来月には元通りになるそうです、ね oh, okay. よかったはい。皆さんのおかげです。Oh, that's the cat, mm -hmm. これ、朝撮った動画です。うん、か,かわいい。<笑>これ、眠いんだけど、ママパパに付き合ってくれてるこの感じ。たまんないですね、ラブリー。でしょ<笑><笑>やっぱり出てきてくれませんかね、姉ちゃん。たぶんおねえ。<笑><笑>佐藤さんもお声が安心するんですかねいえいえかわいい<笑>お若い方には、ね、でもこの年で失うのは望月市長は不破救助行った時の動画編集してもらえますかそのメモの通りにしかしお前はそれより別にこれイメージしてご夫婦に取材申し込んでたのかはいお二人とめいちゃんが落ち着かれるまで待ってましたそれから連絡もらえるなんて Hey go for it shit これはただの美談じゃない Yeah it's more than a feel good story nigga That's dead out the hero. Mm hmm. Imano Fuakuzo, Sugoi de Sione. Nakademo Toke Fukishoto, Onoda Fukisho. Hey, give my boy Shun some love, man. Mm hmm. Kito Koreda. Konotos de Ushinono. Kuzo no Honshi. できない空気呼吸器の使用要求所者のプライバシーいろいろあってこれまで報道に載せられなかったけど人は人に惹かれるんですよだからヒーローが必要なんですだってやばくないですか少子高齢化で消防官の死亡者がこの10年で半分以下になってるってそりゃ分かってるよでもさ
And this this show, low key got me wanting to sign though. What are you talking about? That's what I'm saying, man. この It makes sense though, like, why they haven't been on the news already when you consider all the extra shit that goes in behind that. Because they would have been on that shit. Hey, their legacy only continues. There's a sneak peek at M. Yeah. I think it is. I think they were going in on full station, not just that rescue. Yeah. Shit. That's actually sweet. That's all right. よし、回収乗りポート。What do they mean her awakening? Hmm. Maybe till she joins squad M. Daijin no Angel Hatsugen ni Omo no Joyu no Dengeki ko. Kore kasa na chow to na. Kyo wa nai na. Oso. Damn. Kikon wa tomo kak sek hara to ka. Your internal rage is leaking. Long as that bitch air. Yeah. <laughs> ひしょの時間がなく当該コンビニにはトイレの使用協定を結んでおりますので何とぞご理解くださいはい広報課ですさえうるさすぎめえはあ相変わらずしょうもな夜間はこれはもう AI でいいだろうあもうやだ やってらんないな。仕方しちゃおうかな。はい、広報課。はい。はい。いつからですか連絡が取れなくなったのは。そうですか。上京したのは去年の秋ですね。わかりました。こちらは広報課ですので、指令室に繋ぎますね。このまま切らずにお待ちください。今のお話は全て送ってあります。
礼しますう小さいな5文字また言われるあんたマスコミ行きたいって言ってなかったいや典型受けたの私There it is. Spokesperson of Fire Company M. So it has to be a countdown until Squad M forms. Okay. Man, this episode was very informational as always. We get to see a little more behind the scenes about how the press gets handled. And yeah. we also got a sneak peek of another Fire Company M member or future Hell yeah. member. Hell yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, Fighter Fighter Daigo, we have said it many times before, but just to say it again, this is starting to really stamp itself as a feel good anime, but also as really just like a series of short movies. Like, I dead ass found myself saying to myself, damn, I hope it's not about to end. Damn, it's about to end, isn't it? Damn, watch the episode be over. Just so many times throughout the episode, like, that shit was fire. I just, in general, was locked in. But like you said, when you want to talk about what we were locked into, nigga, we're getting a new squad member. But we also got to see what she does, like, public mass communications or relations. Like, I will say it's very interesting seeing stuff like that just because it's like, I always thought it was just operator and fighter fighter and I thought that was just it. Mm -hmm. So seeing that there's this much more different jobs and branches to being a fighter fighter is actually very interesting. Mm -hmm. And especially just seeing like something like Fire Company M from what we've been hearing about it and how they're assembling the Avengers. I didn't think a spokesperson is something they would look for per mm -hmm. se, but after seeing how detailed that job is and how important it truly is to the public and everything, it makes perfect sense, especially going after someone this skilled at it. Exact. That part, too. Heavy on that part, because she's not just skilled at it. Like, she's dead ass a dog. Like, I think that I wouldn't be surprised if that's what Squad M is. Like, when you put a bunch of people in a room, the niggas you would single out and say, yeah, they're a dog. Like, when you look at how she was operating, how she was moving, like, she's not even in the field. Like, she's just dedicating herself and going extremely all in with her work. By default, that just makes her a dog. It makes sense that she's, by default, going to be on Squad M. Mm -hmm. And looking into this episode, it also makes sense why the Fool Station is yet to be on TV. Because at the end of the day, there's people's privacy you got to consider and... They do certain things that are so unorthodox that it could actually cause legal problems. So it's like yeah. that type of thing. You're not going to just broadcast that. So it makes sense. But I'm glad that they're finally getting the exposure they deserve for the plays they've been making. Let alone like the nighttime calls. Like, I guess it's not that surprising to hear or see that there's someone to take public relation uh, complaints. But Actually, hearing the complaints is funny. Like, I'm not going to lie, just a little mini story. I used to be a student aide for the most part in oh, high man. school, in the main office. And I'm not going to go in on the incident. If you know, you know. But the it actually made headways. And a lot of people around the country were shook. And some niggas were calling in saying the craziest shit, like, just how could you let that happen? And more other crazy shit. But just hearing the her get the crazy calls or just the stupidity calls, like the sirens are too loud or the fighter fighters are in the bathroom and seeing her face reaction, like, I don't know. I think that was low-key a highlight. Yeah, yeah, bro. I remember that incident, too. We had people protesting. We're not going to get into that because it's bad, but 
like just in general it's a funny situation seeing it in the anime like having someone yeah. take these ridiculous calls drunk calls like it's a it, it's like these are complaints that people probably genuinely have which is crazy like, i can low-key like, see it like as funny as and like annoying like let a nigga say the fighter fighter a nigga called the fighter fighter public service department because the nigga was taking too long in the bathroom. You know how ridiculous that is? Or let alone the sirens were too loud. Like That's nigga, crazy. Huh? Like, that's crazy. Cause it's you like... wake up in the middle of the night, or you, bro, you hear them go by, and it's probably no more than 15 seconds. You were that mad that you filed a complaint. <laughs> like, if you still hear it after 15 seconds, that means somebody right close to you is probably burning alive, my nigga. That's so it's it. like, you're really going to complain. You're going to call in in the middle of the night and file a complaint about that. Mm. Like, like, really? I I would say, like, this in general, that was very interesting. But all in all, she's a very interesting character, too. Like, I got to say, I cannot wait to see Squad M. They showed a little panel of it. And next, you know, we got the confirmation that she's going to be in it. I think at this point, it's starting to become clear. Like, it's my toy, whoever that lady was. I wouldn't be surprised if that one doctor lady is being recruited somehow in some way. Because I wouldn't be surprised if they're getting every position filled. Mm -hmm. But just in general, hey, 149 days, we got to maybe... If it was nice, maybe 149 more episodes too. But either way, hit that subscribe button because we're going to keep these episodes coming. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But all in all, what would you rate this episode? Pretty sure I know the answer, but we got to ask. Like, mm, honestly, without much thought, I would easily say a 10 out of 10, which is crazy as fuck given... It's a character who literally just got introduced. Like, it's not even like it was revisiting Matoy or something. It's literally a character that just got introduced in the department that just got introduced, recapping a little bit of shit that we've already seen. Yeah, it was amazing to see and follow. Like, it was amazing to see just someone be that passionate about their job and let alone rock out. Like, I'm not going to lie, this was a great episode. Yes, sir. Like, I, I got to give it a 10 as well. Like, just seeing something brand new. Like, this is the type of learning I enjoy. Like, they're giving us all this info. It's still related to the story. They also mm. even tied it back to Fire Company M. And it turns out uh, Sato's going to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? And they mm. also gave us a little sneak peek of what Fire Company M is going to look like in terms of the roster so far. And... This overall, it was an interesting to see just how much deeper things go than we, it looks on the surface. So, Hell yeah. I, I'll definitely give this episode a 10 out of 10. Like, this is like peak learning experience when it comes to watching something. Because I'm actually taking in everything. Like, like, both of us. We're like, we're taking in what we're watching. Like, this is completely brand new information. It really is. It but really they're, is. they're portraying it in such a fire way. So, I, I actually genuinely appreciate that so i'll give this episode a 10 out of 10 hell yeah hell yeah but hey man just with all that being said that's fighter fighter daigo episode 21 like this was definitely a fantastic episode and if you enjoyed it or enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button yes sir yes sir and make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss episode 22 or any of our other special videos we drop for anime bangers on this channel so make sure you tap in with us with that being said make sure you guys click on our description there will be two links waiting for you one will take you to all of our socials sons of tokyo on every platform the other one will take you to our discord you feel come me? on in come on in you know what i'm saying join that discord come vibe out with us talk about anything anime not anime sports movies it don't matter but uh yeah, man. With that being said, SOTO.